Wild Wednesday. Each week we check in with Colorado Parks and Wildlife and we are joined as always with Joey Livingston with CPW. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, Joey, first topic. So in Longmont recently, somebody thought a raccoon broke into their kitchen, um, called the Humane Society, the local Humane Society. They come out. It was not a raccoon. It yeah. was a ringtailed cat. We talked about this yesterday on the newscast. I was shocked. I did not know they existed in the wild here in Colorado. Yeah. Just give us a little background on this animal. Yeah, a ringtail cat, ringtail miner's cat. There's a bunch of different names that are used for them, uh, but they live all along the front range. They're actually really pretty common, relatively. Um, really? They're just very nocturnal, so they're oh. only out in the very dead of night, so you hardly ever see them. Usually when people do see them, it's when they get into your trash or get into your garage, in this case in your pantry, get stuck in there. Um, overnight, you find them the next morning. Um, but yeah, they're, they're pretty common. I was thinking they're like a, a squirrel family, but you were saying this is part of the raccoon family, yep, correct? But part of the raccoon. But the eyes give that away, and they are absolutely adorable. Yep. I have and to throw that. No, but we I mean, yeah. these people did the right thing, right? They didn't like try to deal with this themselves. They called correct. the right people. You might want to snuggle it, but don't do that. Definitely not. not with any <laughs> great wildlife. advice. Yeah. Thank you from the expert here. Okay. But, you know, this was always something people were surprised at when I worked in the Colorado Springs office. We have one that's mounted there in the office. People would always be like, what is that? What is yeah. that? And I'd have to explain it all the time. It just doesn't seem like a Colorado right. animal. Well, yeah. we love but to it hear is. it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, next question, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. They recently did a bald eagle survey at John Martin State Park. That's near Los Animas. So they were, they counted nearly 80 eagles. Why are these yeah. surveys so important? Yeah, well, um, bald eagles are our national bird. Um, they've been our national bird since 1782, so a long time. Um, they did face a crisis in the 70s uh, where they were uh, an endangered species. At that time, there were only about 70 breeding pairs in the entire country. Wow. Um, today, um, there's, I think, over 700,000, I want to wow. say, Gosh. breeding pairs. That's and so crazy. way more today. So they're um, no longer an endangered species, but still a species that gets a lot of, of national attention. They're a federally endangered or federally protected species. Yeah. And so keeping track of how they're doing is very important to make sure that they're here uh, forever. What I a love comeback. seeing more and more because a lot of our viewers send us pictures. Yeah. And it's yeah. just when you see that, it is epic yeah. to see one and out in the wild. Important to keep tabs on them because they don't breed until they're four or five years old. Oh, wow. And so if you have devastation to uh, the breeding for at one point, it can, you know, cause a long-term damage to the wow. population. Yeah. So. Last topic, we're always talking animals, animals, animals. Well, what about activities? So it, this is the time of year, cross-country skiing. And um, it's, I'm sure a lot of folks who are watching right now probably have never tried it. What are some of the best state parks to get out? Yeah. And maybe if you've never done it before, give it a go. Yeah, well, most of our state parks are open year round. So we don't close most of them in the winter. We still want people getting outdoors and recreating. You know, just because it's cold, that's not a good excuse to stay indoors. Get out <laughs> there and get some exercise. Cross-country skiing, snowshoe. Those are some great opportunities to do that. Uh, Mueller State Park is very close to Colorado Springs. It's a great place to do some uh, one of either one of those activities. We groom some of the trails there specifically for those activities. But we do that across a lot of our state parks. State Forest State Park is another popular place. Steamboat Lake, Vega State Park, P Pearl Lake State Park. There are a lot of state parks. There and, are. Uh, you know, CPW, it's kind of your slogan, get out and explore. Yes. Go ahead, hit up their website. Um, go dive, do your own research before checking out. But if you want more information, really easy. Just hit up kktv.com, click our Find It tab. I've got CPW resources right there for you. We'll be right back after the break. Thanks, Joey.